An athlete can become instantly intimidating without having to say a word based on the size of the arm sticking out of their uniform sleeve. Today I'm going to show you two of my best tips to help you get bigger arms, athlete or not. What's up guys, Jeff Cavalier, AthleanX.com. I mentioned it in the open, one of the most intimidating signs that a guy can bring to the table, whether you're an athlete or you're not, is a bigger set of arms hanging out of those short sleeves, right? So now, today I figured what I would do is put together two of my best tips for you to help you to quickly add some size to your arms. In order to do that though, you have to obviously cover both, both parts here. You've got to cover the biceps, you've got to cover the triceps. So what I wanted to do is give you sort of my best one tip if I had to give you one tip to help you to start doing that. From a bicep standpoint, in order to get, we're talking about overall size, in order to get more size or more apparent size, you want to have that peak on top of the bicep. Now, what is the peak? The peak is really coming from the long head of the bicep, which is, again, the bicep two parts, the short head, the long head. The long head, which, you know, I never do this, guys, I don't ever flex on here, but to illustrate what we're talking about, we have to, right? So, up top here, the long head is the one that's going to be more on the outside of the bicep here, and give that higher peak form, same thing when viewed from the top. More long head lateral side, short head down in here. So if you want to train the long head of the biceps to get more peak, then you're going to have to hit that through an exercise. How do we target that? We got to get those arms into extension to start the exercise. Because the long head attaches further up the shoulder than the short head does, and by putting it on more of a stretch, you're going to be able to do that. So the longer you can keep your arm behind your body, the more you're going to be able to target the long head of the bicep. So what do we do and how can we do that? Well, we want to make sure that we can do this with an exercise we can actually lift some weight with. So yes, you can do incline dumbbell curls, but if there's a way that you can add more weight and therefore stress the biceps a little bit more, more of a mass builder, then you want to put something um, on the bar and be able to lift a little bit more. So, what we do is we do basically a, uh, like a bent over row curl. So the keys to this are, again, elbows behind the body. So you start off in a regular curl position, just like this. And you're going to kind of drag it up the thighs. Fingers are hooked. Okay? Fingers are bars right in through the fingers here. I don't want to start curling too much or feel like I'm rowing too much. So if I hook my fingers on the bar, and I drag it up the thighs, you can see the, the first thing it's doing is positioning the elbows back behind the body. I'm not squeezing my mid-back, I'm actually just trying to keep that completely quiet. So I'm, I'm coming into here, when I get about the level of my waist, then I curl up and then down, okay? Better use with a little bit of momentum, so again, a little heavier weight, a little bit of momentum, so I'll demonstrate it now in real time. Yeah, I'm curling up through here, Elbows will be behind the body, and I'll try to curl it up to the top to really work on the peaks. So, like this. Drag it up, curl it. Drag it up, curl. Okay, in here and curl up again really works the top part the peak of the biceps all right so we got to move on to the other part of the arms really the meatier part of the arms the triceps over two-thirds of the size of the arm give or take that's what we want to make sure that we're not neglecting so we hit the biceps but for the triceps again you've got some preferential areas that you can go after if you're looking for purely increasing the size as fast as you can for us, it's going to be the long head of the tricep. Again, if you look at the tricep from behind and, and you were to flex, you're looking at the, the inside, meteor portion here of the tricep. Okay? So, you've got in this area here, that's what you want to focus on. How do you do that? It's actually pretty easy. We want to make sure that in order to get the long head, again, it's the one that attaches higher up on the shoulder this time from behind, so we want to make sure we can put that on a stretch. So any exercise where you have an opportunity to load up the tricep with heavier weights and do so on stretch is going to be a great opportunity for you to 
hit that, uh, you know, hit that area of the muscle. So, what do we do? We've got a nose breaker, skull crusher type variation that we want to tweak even more. Now, you guys know that when I talk about this exercise, one thing that we want to do is make sure that you're never going completely vertical with the press. Because if you're completely vertical here when you're laying down, you're taking all the stress off of the tricep. At the point that you're straight over your chest, there's no tension on the tricep. So you want to finish with the arm back at least a little bit on stretch. But for this exercise, to really amp it up, you want to make sure that you get a little extra stretch by adding a bit of a pullover to it. So, how's that look? You get down here, okay, and again, this is the finished position, regardless of, the, of you're doing a skull crusher, uh, whatever you want to call it, nose breaker, because this, there's no, tri there's no tension here on this tricep. I could sit here for days if I had to, but back here, not so much. So now, when I said we get an extra stretch, we're down here, then let the arms actually stretch back a little bit. So in here, we can get a little momentum again, okay, up to this position, and then up and extend. Down, reach back a little bit, pull, stop it, and then use your triceps the rest of the way. Down slow, here, reach back, pull forward, stop it, and come up. Just like that. Real good exercise for targeting that area of the tricep. So, there you have it. That's two exercises, two big tips. If I had to give out two tips and I had to use two things to really try to bring up the speed that I was seeing results in my arms, especially now with summer around the corner, that's what I would do. Guys, if you want to learn how to train like an athlete, if you want, I don't care, again, like I said in the open, if you have to step on the field of competition, or if you're just looking to be a better version of yourself as a non-athlete, you still got to learn how to train like an athlete if you want to look like one. And I can tell you, most athletes, from Vernon Davis to uh, uh, I don't know, Blake Griffin, the size of their arms, Kobe Bryant, LeBron James, those guys instantly can intimidate just because it was hanging out of those uniform sleeves. I'm going to help you do the same. Head over to athletenext.com right now, grab your 90 day training program. In the meantime, make sure you leave a comment down below. Also leave your thumbs up if you like this video. And we'll be back here again in seven days. I'll see you guys then.